Hey, what is going on guys? I'm I Jordan B1409 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what exactly the 1.08 update did. And this came brand new today, I believe, um, 18th of November, maybe the 17th, I don't really know. If it did, it came out late at night anyway. And um, we're going to be discussing exactly what this update did and what it patched and what it's added. So first off, the one thing that's been added is when you go into ammunition, what will happen is you can um, hover over like the ammo as you see here. You can press X, change it to max ammo and um, basically that's been fixed because I believe that once you did it um, it wasn't giving the correct amount of money like you could get it for cheaper than um, it actually was so now they've bumped up the price for that um, probably just another way of Rockstar getting money out of you um, and um, that's one thing but we're gonna get straight into it now and a lot of things have been added now what's happened in um, well, there's a lot of updates that have made it RP and races and missions, so it's not really the most interesting patch, but we're going to get straight into this, and it's the bottom thing that's in it is increased cash payouts for losing teams and less team standing and team deathmatch. There's also increased the cash and RP rewards for races with multiple laps, and um, cash payouts for parachuting now take points scored into account. Um, so it's not really interesting if I'm being honest. Um, one thing that was patched, which was quite a big one, um, fixed an issue where GTA Online players could reach North Yankton. So they've removed that now, there was a rare event, and they took it away straight away. So that kind of maybe tells us that maybe it's coming out, I'm not too sure. But um, they've removed it for now, and you can't go into it, which kind of sucks, as it was a nice place to go to. You know, it could be a future DLC. So the fact that they've took that out is kind of disappointing, but, you know, you know what Rockstar are like with these patches. Another thing... Is um they um they have fixed various duplication um of vehicles. A lot of the duplication methods now for duplicating vehicles have now been patched, and I believe some winning glitches have now been patched as well. So you know they are constantly patching these things, but um, no need to worry. I will continue to all these money lobbies, um and I will try and find some car duplication glitches and all that, and they'll be at first on my channel. Um. But glasses from the beach bum update now appear in the inventory menu. As you can see, nothing really interesting there. Um, players in tanks now have more protection from other players attempting to deliberately give them a bad sport rating. So I don't really know what that means. I don't know if people were like driving in front of a tank so that they would blow up straight away and it, you know it would give them a bad sport. Um, if they did, then that's pr that's pretty clever if you ask me. <laughs> I never even thought of that, but that's something that's been added and. Bad sport timers now read properly and show the correct time left in the bad sports lobby because um, a few people were getting into bad sport lobbies and it would say that they would be in it for zero zero days, zero zero hours and zero zero minutes which obviously isn't very useful. You want to know exactly how long you're in there for but um, thanks to a bug you, you didn't know so you just have to kind of wait it out but... Um, yeah, that's really it. They've also added new game modes. They have now added last team, last team standing capture. I think it's called captures like more of a domination type thing. I did explain that in a previous video, and uh, yeah, all these new game modes have now been added, so you can check them out. Um, it's more like competitive game modes, and um, yeah, calling the mechanic now shows you if a vehicle on the list is destroyed or impounded. I don't know why that's on the patch notes. I I thought that was already there, if, if I'm correct, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen that so many times. And um, another thing, improved spawning for death matches, where the spawn points were previously very far apart, and improved support for Chinese, Japanese, Korean and Russian in the creator. So that's about it for this video, it was quite, the, the patches weren't very interesting, but for everyone that wanted to know, then here it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video, if you're new, subscribe for all the best GTA 5 glitches, tricks, tips and so on. And if you should have liked the video, follow me on Twitter at IJB1409, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.